Hi everyone, Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com coming at you with 2020 Panini Chronicles Baseball. Eight box, half case, number two. Pick your teams. All card ship is the second half of the case that we popped open a little bit earlier. And a very big thanks to all of these lovely people here for getting into the action. Here in Chronicles 2, thanks for spending a bit of your Friday night with us watching a little hoops. Breaking a little baseball. Talking some sports. Doing the usual thing that we do on this new release Friday. Remember we marked that PYT for Pick Your Team in the previous break. And let's roll. Thanks everybody. That's what we're looking for here. There's a variety of rookies. We're letting you know. All cards ship, so if I uh, if I happen to miss something in this break, don't worry about it. Our shipping team will make sure all of these will get to you safe and sound. Yeah, Jorge's got the Dodgers in this one. He got he got it. Uh, he got last spot mojo on that. Tricky's got the Blue Birds looking for some bow bobachets. All right, Tricky's got a little little verse for us. Joe pulls the bow, let's go. All right. Joe pulls the bow, let's go. 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 We can make a beat out. We can make something out of that, Dan. I think I think we can. George will use we'll use that beat right there. George Springer relic going to the Astros. Aaron with that one. Let's go. We can do something with that. We'll have to workshop that a little bit. But there's Freddie Freeman having a great season. That's numbered. That's to ninety nine. Luis Robert right there, of course, gets that extra treatment here because he's Luis Robert. Him and Kyle Lewis. Some Boba Shets too, I suppose. It's pretty good, too. Brent McKay is numbered to 100 on that one. Freddie Freeman goes to the Braves. Matt Medlin, White Sox, Richard F. with the Luis Robert. We got a nice Origins autograph, Brian Abreu. That goes to the Astros. That'll be for Aaron. Who's got the White Sox? Oh, yeah, Richard's got the White Sox in that. Rays, Brendan McKay. That's for Sherry. And there's Jeff McNeil autograph. That'll be for the Metropolitans. That's going to go to Anthony, who won that in the team random. Nice. I'll do a little recap at the end of this, too. So if you're watching the replay, then you can uh, just fast forward to the end. If you are watching live, then you're stuck with me. Stuck watching me. All these cards are made of all different materials, so... And get a little slippery. Got to watch out for these. So that's a that's a tip for everybody as well. When you get these cards, they can get a little slippery. We got a Michael Baez rookie autograph. Padres. Chris Miller with the Friars. Regular sleeve, 55 top loader. Ooh, nice, perfect. On card autograph in there. There's Luis Robert. Is he rookie of the year? Someone was making the argument the other day, and I think I think a solid argument the other day, that it should be Kyle Lewis. Okay, who was that? Show yourself if you were the one making that argument the other day to me. Um, which I think was a good argument. 
because I think he's he's now leading. Kyle Lewis is leading a lot of categories over over Luis Robert. But then I wonder how much does uh, how much does like getting to the playoffs count in the in a rookie of the year race? Maybe an MVP it does. There's Gavin Lux for the Dodgers. Maybe MVP it does, but maybe not so much for Rookie of the Year. I don't know. Alright, next Chronicles box. I honestly, I've not been paying attention to baseball over the last couple of weeks. I think I've just been focusing on NBA playoffs, and then I've just been looking, just waiting for MLB playoffs to happen. So the playoff aspect, Logan saying, shouldn't matter at all. Not like an MVP rate. Sometimes people make that argument for MVPs. Nick Galvin says it's one of the two. Kyle Lewis or Robert, probably Lewis. What about the NL? What's happening rookie of the year wise in the NL? Bryce Harper right here. Uh, the Padres second baseman, Cronenworth. Yeah, he's he's pretty good. He's Dustin May to 199. Chris Bryant. I love these Spectra cards right here. Sky says, I'll go out and say Kyle Lewis on the AL and Tony Gonson on the NL only because he has some financial interest. In what, both players? Gonsolin winning the NL Rookie of the Year? And we've got Pete Alonso, Spectra Relic for the Mets. Anthony won, the, won that team in the filler break. Yeah, I'm, 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 yeah if, if that's gonna, if that's gonna help sky high, Sky High's financial investment. We want a good return on investment. There's Gavin Lux. I feel like if he was playing the entire season, he might have, might have made had a, had a challenge for the NL Rookie of the Year. There's Luis Robert again. That's. I mean, it is 2020. Absolutely. Well, that's one of the reasons. I know it's not off topic on the sport, but it's one of the reasons why I I had a future investment on the Miami Heat to win the Eastern Conference. Back in June, like a month before, when they announced the restart, but a month before they were start playing games. Because I thought, well, they've got a young team that won't, that will be in the bubble with no fans. There's Justin Dunn, which might affect, which might help them not get rattled by away opponents, was my thinking. They're well coached, energetic team. Well, they could do it tonight. There's Justin Dunn to 199 for the M's. That'll be for Richard. I have not seen a Kyle Lewis yet. Not even a base card of Kyle Lewis or a rookie card of Kyle Lewis. So some Gavin Luxes here too. Crusade. What is this? Titanium as well. That one was numbered. Bryce Harper. That's numbered to 99. And Cameron Gallagher autograph. To 50 for the Royals. That's going to be. Who's got the Royals? That'll be for Brett. Big rig. There's Aristides Aquino to 75. And unless I missed one, that might be our first Bo Bichette. And that classics design for Tricky. There's Randy Otto Zarenia for the Cardinals, jersey and autograph in that Spectre design. I pulled the bow. Let's go. 
and an Otto Zarenia. I'll have to come up with a different song for him. Asa with the Cardinals to 99. Where are we where are we at MVP wise? What's the MVP story? ALNL MVP. What are we looking at there? Are there any is anyone running away with that? What, what what metric I could I could go by to get a broad view of this conversation? Maybe fan graphs can give can can give me some stats, some batting stats by war maybe. What is it good for? This is for all players maybe. All right, well, if you want to go by war, which I think is a nice broad view of it, in the AL, Jose Ramirez leads the AL in war with 3.2. Freddie Freeman has a war of 3.1. That leads the NL. And then right behind him is Mookie Betts at 2.8. Tatis Jr. at 2.8. Freddie Freeman, might. this might be the best chance for him to win an MVP. Is he really? I didn't realize he was from Orange. I didn't realize he was from California. I feel like I feel like Tatis would get some love simply because he's a young star that baseball writers want to, you know, maybe kiss up to. <laughs> There's Luis Robert right here. More for Richard F. And I think that. You know, maybe they want to anoint him as some sort of future future face of the MLB. Baseball writers are weird, right? I don't know what what their criteria is. Maybe Padres getting to the playoffs, I think, would, would, would boost his his case too, right? They're like, hey, Tatish took the uh, took the Padres to the playoffs. He's got a 2-8 war. He's hitting 278. He's got 15 home runs. You know, yeah, rounding out the top 10 in all of MLB war-wise, Jose Ramirez, Indians, Freddie Freeman, Braves, Mookie Betts, Dodgers, Fernando Tatis Jr., Padres, Anthony Rendon, Angels, Jose Abreu, White Sox, Manny Machado, Padres, Trevor Story, Rockies, Mike Trout, Angels, Trey Turner, Nationals. That's kind of your top ten right there in, in league-wide war as a sort of broad way to approach this conversation. But then there's the conversation of what what is most valuable player. Steven Strasburg. To 99. I don't know. Jorge's saying Mookie bets, and his war is up there, but I feel like I feel like he doesn't he won't get that credit because of how great that Dodgers lineup is. Nice Luis Robert to one hundred. But if these riders watch the game, Mookie Betts definitely does set the table. If Mookie Betts isn't setting that table for the rest of that team, I think the Dodger could kind of offensively would would definitely struggle at times greatly. Josh Bell. Josh Bell going to the Pirates. That'll be for Don Rabb. 
You think Tatis Jr. and Machado may cancel each other out? They're in top ten in war, top ten in baseball in war. As a again, as sort of a not an end all be all, but just as a broad stat. More Bo Bichette. There's Tatis Jr. right here. There's Taylor Hearn for Texas to 199. Big thick Spectra card right here. Rangers, that'll be for Matt Bodner, who has the Rangers. Here's more Luis Robert. I didn't realize Jose Ramirez was having such a great season. He's batting 290, 17 home runs, which may be just a, a couple off the lead. 46 RBIs, 10 stolen bases. The counting stats look really nice. Here's Eloy. Eloy to five. So these are some of these greens are number to five. Look at that. Eloy Jimenez. I'm glad I checked. So that's for the White Sox. Richard F. With a five out of five Eloy Jimenez. All aboard the Big Hit Express. Woo woo! Nice, and that, I love that obsidian design too. That's really cool. There's Eniel De Los Santos to 25 for Philly. That's, that's going to be for Richard A. got a Jake Rogers blue 10 out of 99 mosaic blue and we got a Sean Murphy America's pastime autograph also at a five another train whistle Matt Bodner with the Oakland A's four out of five nice all aboard the Big Head Express Whoop, whoop. All right, next box. So a couple of nice train whistles in that box. We'll do a recap at the end. Remember, all cards ship. What about uh, what about the Cy Young Award? What are you thinking Cy Young wise? I'm also looking at fan graphs, looking at war, just as a as a starting point. Shane Bieber has been incredible. He's got a 3.2 WAR. Second place is Yu Darvish at 2.6. So Shane Bieber's cruising in the WAR department at least. 3.2. That's a big difference from 3.2 to 2.6. There's usually someone like at 3.1 or 2.9 or something like that. But no, he's far and away being the best pitcher, most wins above replacement pitcher in baseball right now. 163 ERA. That's pretty good. He's got a 14.2 K per nine. Jesus. I wonder what clicked there. Luis Robert Green, this one is not numbered. Logan Webb to 99 and Mike Trout Crusade. The next closest guy in the AL 
Nah, he's got a winner, right? Next closest, next closest uh, guy in the AL is Zach Granke for the Astros. He's got a 2-1 war, but a 4 ERA. That's not going to do it. Maybe Kenta Maeda. He's got a 2-1 ERA. 270 RA, 2 1 war. No, Shane Bieber's got it, right? AL Cy Young. It's Gary Sanchez. Relic for the Yankees. Bieber, no one says sky high breaks, but. All right, what about the NL then? NL's a little more crowded. Yu Darvish, Jacob deGrom, Trevor Bauer all have 2-6, two, 2-5 two, wars. Corbin Burns, Nilsson, Lament. It's got to be Darvish, deGrom, or Bauer. I think Trevor Bauer is trying to make his case. Joel with the Yankees gets that Gary Sanchez relic. Trevor Bauer is trying to make his case for the Cy Young, right? <laughs> that would be cool. Although Darvish has a see, baseball writers care about wins too. You Darvish has is seven and three and wins. Bowers only five and five and four. I don't know wins really don't. I feel like really don't count all that much, but it does for contracts and awards. <laughs> There's a nice Bobachet Crusade to two ninety nine. It's a good looking one for Dan and the Blue Jays. I do like that crusade design. Got a five, lot, lot of train whistles here. We got a five out of five. Aaron Judge. Magnitude card. Yankees. Joel with that one. Nice. Joel. All aboard the Big Hit Express. Woo woo. That is strong. There's Roselle Herrera, also for the Yankees. Classics design here. So Yankees cruising in this break. And Joel won that in a blaster box break. We randomized, gave away some teams. That was pretty nice. More Tatis, Alonzo, Bellinger. And another Yankee, Michael King. Seven out of 99. There's Glaber Torres. And we got a Cole Tucker autograph. That looks really cool. You got the light blue spectra, the gold of the pirates, his on-card autograph. That's for Don Rab. 36 out of 60. Big cardstock too, big thick cardstock there. More Luis Robert. That's our first Kyle Lewis I've spotted. And if I missed any, they're still, still all going to you, Richard. Don't worry. Mosaic design is cool. All right, four more boxes to go. About another 20 minutes in this break, folks. So thanks for, for hanging with us. Since there's like so many different designs, it's, it does take a little a little extra time. Got more, uh, more half case breaks in the store, ladies and gentlemen, and a half case random team break if you want to get into that. Jaspiescasebreaks.com. A random team break will be from a fresh case. And the next picker team we do will, be, will also be from a fresh case. Right, there's a timeless treasure, Kyle Lewis. Right up on top.
Boba Shet. And we've got Huascar Yanoa. And that will be for the Braves. That's going to go to Matt Medlin in Atlanta. Got a Shun Yamaguchi to 25 for the Blue Jays. We've got a Crusade Kyle Lewis for the M's. Another one for Richard. Another, another Bo Bichette for Dan. And then we've got that Andrew Stevenson looks like for the Nats. Matt McLaughlin with the Nationals. Lux. And we've got an America's Pastime Autograph, Jesus Lazardo, jersey and on card auto to 99. Nice. 8 out of 99 for the A's, Matt Bodner. There he is again. Aaron Judge, 75 in that Spectra design. And Nolan Arenado to 99. We've got a Tatis Jr. Crusade Silver. Chris Bryant to 25 and Tim Anderson Spectra card. And that's a cool Jesus Lazardo. It looks like a white mosaic parallel. 23 out of 25. It's a good looking one for Matthew Bodner and the A's. There's Gonsolin right here. He, I mean, maybe if he had gotten some starts early on, Sky, maybe. Could have had a shot. Jorge Soler, Relic. Brett with Kansas City. Cats. Sky Hybrid. I don't know how much you know about Tony Gonsolin, but in addition to being a good pitcher, he loves cats. He has got like, wears like cat t-shirts, talks about cats a lot, cat lover. Three boxes to go. Look it up, folks. It's... Yeah, if you go, go, go on the Google machine, Sky High, and, and you'll see like, He'll he'll have like those crazy like airbrushed cat shirts and whatnot. I think celebrating his first win, I think he had some cat related post on his Instagram. I'm pretty sure that Tony Gonsolin uh, was roommates here in LA with Ross Stripling. I think they, they, they had a house, rented a house together, an apartment together, something like that. But Ross Stripling, allergic to cats. Tony Gonsolin could not have a cat. One wonders if Tony Gonsolin orchestrated the Ross Stripling trade just so he can have cats now. There's David Fletcher, seven out of 25. Green scope autograph for the Angels. That's a good looking card for Richard F. These are pretty sharp, ladies and gentlemen. 
One wonders. Just like how one wonders if Justin Herbert orchestrated the medical mishap with Terod Taylor. Well, I mean, it's just all speculation, folks. I have no evidence. Just trying to put a couple things together. Richard F. With the White Sox. So we got DJ Stewart. Autograph for uh, Nick Galvin, who won the Orioles in that blaster box break. Now he's on the board with a hit. These crusade cards I really like. They look really cool. More Luis Robert. Another Luis Robert. All these Luis Roberts will add up. I think they should bring status back. I always like that status design. And America's pastime, Jersey and Auto, Jordan Alvarez. 70 out of 99 for the Strohs, Aaron Monzone with the Houston Astros. So Arthur looking for some Diamondbacks. Robinson Cano, Metropolitans. Logan Allen's 99, and a Justin Upton to 25. 7 out of 25. That looks really cool. Angels, Richard. I never remember the time that Justin Upton hit a, hit a home run to that Sherwin Williams paint can. Well, on a, on a bounce. And Sharon Williams didn't want to pay the promo. There's Max Kepler, 2 out of 25. Same pattern, but this time this one has a relic in there for the Twins. That's going to be for Brian Ashley, who won the Twins in that randomizer. Oh, nice. <laughs> Sky's got, got himself a Gonsolin Optic Gold Vinyl Auto. I mean, listen, the Dodgers are going to need him. In the playoffs, that's for sure. Walker Bueller only just came back from... He had a great start, but only just came back from a weird blister issue. Those blister issues can always be... Can always get weird. And they have a... Uh, you know, they've got obviously a, a, a older, much older Kershaw. And like... Who else? You know what I mean? Like... Hyunjin Ryu is not there. Kenta Mae is not there. So now after Walker Bueller and, you know, after Walker Bueller and, and Kershaw, you got to count on, on Julio Urias. You know, the, Julio Urias, they got, you got to count on Tony Gonsolin, Dustin May. So they got to piece together some starts. Tony Gonson could be one of those guys. And if he does well in the playoffs, I mean that that could that could bring a bring a, bring a nice boost in value. I know that in general maybe the pitchers don't sell as well as the hitters, but still there's still a return on investment to to have. There's Jake Fraley. Yeah. This guy's like, hey, listen, I'm no Dodgers fan, but that rotation looks looks like it's going to be solid for years to come. Yeah, even post uh, even post Kershaw, which unfortunately will inevitably happen. But yeah, Walker Bueller, Dustin May as kind of a one and two would be pretty great. You know, then you, you mix in guys like Gonsolin, Urias, 
in the in, in the sort of middle to, to back of that rotation. There's AJ Mintner for the Braves. That'll go to Matt Medlin, and I'm sure the Dodgers will invest some money in some, you know, in a in a top pitcher to to round out that rotation. But yeah. Starting rotation looks good. Dodgers have to start thinking about, in my opinion, maybe a, a future future Kenley Jansen. There's Jesus Lazardo. Matt Bodner with the Oakland A's. Still a great closer, but he's not he's not getting any younger either. Maybe Bruce Star Greaterall? Although Bruce Star Greaterall thinks he can start. 95 out of 99, Josh Bell. Nice relic behind him right there. It's a cool shadow box look. Buckos, that goes to Don Rab and the Pirates. And the Josh Bell cracked ice. To 99. That looks cool too. A lot of sharp looking cards here. That certified Boba Shed is neat. Ronald Acuna Jr., Spectra. Gavin Lux and Robert. Got a J.P. Crawford to 99. Boba Shett Green. Jordan Yamamoto and Aaron Judge Phoenix in the back. Almost there, folks. Boba Shett Green, not numbered. Luis Robert Limited. All right, and the final box here in the brand new 2020 Chronicles Baseball. Pick your team number two. We've got more in the store, so check it out on jazbeescasebreaks.com. This is one of the major new releases today. The other one is uh, Mosaic Football, no huddle edition. It's like fast break edition in basketball. How are we looking on this basketball game, folks? Miami 52, Boston 47, but from kind of half watching this during the break, it doesn't seem like, just it seems like Miami's been in control this entire game. It doesn't look like the Celtics are really, really giving Miami any trouble thus far. There's Luis Robert, legacy version. Got Dylan Cease to 99, Trevor Story. And there's Trevor Bauer searching for a Cy Young. We got Eugenio Suarez, got a relic back there. For the Reds, Mike G and the Red Legs. More Luis Roberts, certified edition. All of those Roberts will be going to uh, Richard F. and the White Sox. I'm sure all of these add up, some more than others, depending on the design. Ronald Acuna Jr. to 199. There's Bruce R. Greater, we're just talking about him. And Danny Mendick. One out of five. A few train whistles. A few train whistles. Really nice. 
in this half. Who, Danny Mendick? Danny Mendick is legit. I've got him on my fantasy team, actually. He's, he, he strikes the ball pretty well. That is for Richard and the White Sox. Richard, all aboard the Big Head Express. Woo -woo. America's pastime. Train whistle autograph. I think he gets overshadowed by... Well, Luis Robert, obviously. Who's that other kid? No, there's, there's like a corner infielder that he gets. Uh, another prospect that's around his age. Madrigal. I think Nick Madrigal gets all the, the that sort of prospect hype. Yeah, well, I think that's why Danny Mendick got a chance to get called up and then ended up staying along with Madrigal. But I think Madrigal, that's for Seattle, by the way, Connor Sadzik with uh, Richard F. But I think Nick Madrigal kind of gets, gets that sort of prospect hype, but I think Danny Mendick's up there too. All right, there's Brian Abreu, 43 out of 49. Your Walmart is trash, Carmona's is saying. They don't even carry, carry, what, trading cards? Have you asked them? They Sometimes they hide it. <laughs> a lot of times it's near the checkout, but a lot, but sometimes they put it in the toy section. You gotta, you gotta look there. There's Gavin Lux, Dustin May, Zach Collins to 99. Oh, Zach Collins, there he is. Jersey and autograph. For the White Sox, that's going to be for Richard F. Oh, they stopped ordering. You asked and they stopped ordering them due to theft. Oh, okay. Well, this is why we can't have nice things. Uh, that's a nice, another nice autograph for the White Sox. There's Mendick again, Bobby, Bradley, Shun Yamaguchi, Silver, Mosaic, and at the end here, Matt Chapman. No randomizers or nothing. Let me do a quick recap for y'all. You know this kind of is a long break actually. All right, so let's start from the Zach Collins and go go backwards. A nice Danny Mendick, a lot of Luis Roberts right in here. I mean, all those Luis Roberts will add up. Some more than others, and some would surely benefit from being graded, but all worth a look. Nice Jordan Alvarez. And a bunch of other numbered cards and a, probably a bunch of other solid rookies too that we just didn't have time to dwell on but nice couple nice Jesus Lazardos here but with the way the hobby is going be sure to hang on to to you know some some if you believe there could be future stars hang on to them you know because you, you never know that value could suddenly suddenly jump up with a with a call up with a couple good weeks to a season, a couple good months, roll, rolls into a career. Baseball investing is more of a more of a long game, I think. A little more patience, a little more, a little more waiting, but could be a great return on investment though if that happens. All right, so there you have it. There you go. That was eight box half case. Pick your team, number two of 2020 Panini Chronicles of Baseball. We got more in the store on jazpiecasebreaks.com. Check it out. I'm Joe, and I'll break more with you next time. Bye-bye.